Hey Dave, Robin again. Hey, while I'm out here in the woods, I decided it'd be a great day to do a review of my newest knife. It is an Ontario Artac 2. Now, the only reason I got this thing is for batoning wood and setting up a shoulder quick and that sort of thing. The knife itself comes in this nylon sheath. It's got a little utility pocket in the front. Right here, if you want to stick a sharpening stone or a uh, fire uh, fire tool of some sort in there, it's got a Lenard here at the bottom. Um, it's okay. It's Molly. It's got Molly attachments on the back. I use an Alice pack, so that doesn't really help me much. Um, it's a heavy booger. It weighs about 29 and a half ounces, just the knife. So I like it because I'm not as strong as some people. So I can let the weight of the knife do the work when I'm doing some chopping. Now, as far as the knife itself goes, it's attached by these nylon gizmos. Flip them out of the way, take the knife out. Now, if you look, the knife does kind of go dangerously close to the nylon strips. I wonder if time that I'm gonna cut one of these off. But until I do, I ain't worried about it. Um, also, it fits kind of loose in the sheath. Well anyway, with the insert, you can take it out, take a, a paint peel and heat gun to it and kind of soften it and flush it out, then stick it back in with a little bit of glue if, that's, if that concerns you. My thing is, I'm never going to carry this on my side, so it's going to be in my bag somewhere, so I'm not going to worry about how tight it fits in there. Plus, it's a daggone heavy. It ain't like it's going to fall out unless I'm hanging it upside down on my bag with molly attachments, which I don't do that either. Randall, Randall Adventure Training. Cool logo on it. It's got this coating on it. It's not a... It's pretty durable. I've been using it, and I haven't taken out any of it yet or not. Also, my knife has got a little serrated edge on it. Now, I like this when I was doing those figure four deadfall traps. I'd cut a notch and then use that to saw out the stuff on it. So that was kind of handy. Uh, but this isn't a general survival knife. It's for processing wood, chopping things down, you know, stuff like that. Now you could use a hatchet for a lot of that. But this does what the hatchet does, plus it allows me to do some of that stuff like cutting the notches on deadfalls, which I like to do. So it does give me an added benefit, plus it's cool. Now, <clears throat> it's 1095 steel, so it does hold an edge pretty good. Uh, it's it's uh, got the flat grind on it, so it's more of a wedge type thing. It's not this isn't made for doing fine work at all. Um, it is 10 and a quarter, so if you're batoning wood, you can go through stuff that's pretty big. Uh, the whole knife is 16 and a half inches long, so it's my car to handle on it more than heavy duty enough for what I'm using um, and I gotta say overall I like it now I saw online where there were some people had some problems with it chipping when they were using it in the winter so my my advice is in the winter use your hatchet these things retail for about 110 bucks I've seen them as high as 140 but um, got mine for 110 real easy walked right in uh, army surplus in Chicago and bought it so anyway it's a big knife I like it it does a lot of the, it helps I don't have to swing it as hard because I let the weight of the knife do the work it's a great chopper um, you could use it like I said for uh, setting up shelters for processing firewood things like that it's it's not for skinning squirrels or for doing the little intricate things you would leave this for just wood processing not mainly for me hey remember that uh, buck saw I made I got a handy dandy carrying bag I made for it and uh, it folds up nice and neat. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut some logs and show you how well that Ontario knife, uh, that Artac 2, uh, batons wood. Okay, so if I wanted to show how well this thing batons wood, went out and cut me a log with my little buck saw I made. It's right here. Oh, 
as you can see, the RTAC 2 is more than up to the job when it comes to batoning wood. Um, that log was been laying around, it was kind of wet, and those are kind of heavy and hard to do. Busted right through it. Um, my buck saw did okay. I think I'm pretty well set on wood processing. I'd like to try to hit me a winter camp yet, but we're quickly running out of winter here in Indiana. I'm not complaining though, because this is a pretty nice day. So, this is the Artec 2 from Ontario Knives, and until next time, this is Native Robin saying, Happy